I'm back. Day 31. Wow. You believe there's nine days left in this time together, this study? And we are talking about today overcoming laziness for real. One of the key hindrances to being made better is laziness. <laughs> Comfort, and in some cases, past successes can be one's worst enemy. Unguarded human nature will love one, lull one into a false sense of security. The uncareful will think that they have arrived, rest on their laurels, and sometimes cease maintaining the foundation of the works that got them where they are. Lord, you know that's true. And when laziness gets a good hold of you, then the I wish I would has, I should has, I could has, start creeping in. In other words, regret grabs you like a clutch, like a vice, and doesn't let you go. So I want you, first of all, to remember the theme scriptures, the focus scriptures we read on yesterday. This is day 31. Yesterday's focus scriptures were Psalm 106 and Psalm 107. I want you to go back and look at Psalm 107. Let's just go back there for a minute. Let me, let me get my trusty Bible. It ain't dusty, but it's sure trusty. <laughs> Psalm 107. Come on, go there with me. Psalm 107. And uh, I want to read just a few verses out of Psalm 107. And then we're going to set the day right. All right. Today, day 31. Day 31. Psalm 107. Oh, Bishop, that was such a long psalm. Goodness gracious. 43 verses. <laughs> Psalm 107 says, out of verse 33, he turns rivers into wilderness and the water springs into dry ground. Ah, a fruitful land into barrenness for the wickedness of those <coughs> who dwell in it. He turns a wilderness into pools of water and dry land into water springs. Then he makes the hungry dwell, verse 36, that they may establish a city for a dwelling place, and sow fields and plant vineyards, that they may yield a fruitful harvest. He also blesses them, verse 38, and they multiply greatly, and he does not let their cattle decrease. Ah, uh, when they are diminished, verse 39, and brought low, through oppression, affliction, and sorrow. He pours contempt on princes and causes them to wander in the wilderness where there is no way. Yet he sets the poor on high, far from affliction, and makes their families like a flock. The righteous see it and rejoice, and all iniquity stops his mouth. Verse 43. Whoever is wise will observe these things and they will understand the loving kindness of the Lord. I remember growing up as a little boy and um, my mom and different others as we went to First United Church. And I remember Deacon Brockington, Bishop Saunders' wife's mother, our father, uh, Deacon Brockington. God have mercy. I remember him. He used to get up and sing this song. Thy loving kindness is better than life. Thy loving kindness is better than life. My lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee. I will lift up my hands in thy name. I remember him singing that song. And I remember the loving kindness of God that I grew to know for myself. God's loving kindness is towards all of us. But when we are lazy and when we refuse to be set free from laziness by way of pushing ourselves and doing as God had instructed. When we refuse, that's not a good place to find yourself because you miss out on so much. Hear this from the book. Hear this from the book. Go an extra mile. Develop the ability to tell your flesh 
that you will do extra just because you can. The next two days are going to be blessed, okay? And it will reveal something to you. That's the day from yesterday and today. What did it tell you? <laughs> How lazy you are. How lazy. <laughs> oh, my God. It will tell you to recognize your need to do more. Or it will tell you to accept mediocrity. Lord, I just want to say this. You need to make your life a no lazy zone. You need to make your life a no lazy zone. So today's scripture is Luke chapter 17, verse 12 through 19. And I want you to join me in declaring my life is a no lazy zone. Can you do that? I will not be lazy. I will not be lazy. The word is slothful in Proverbs. So whenever you read Proverbs, you see that word sloth. It's lazy. So, beloved, I pray that you would grab the importance of this. Not be stopped because you got so far to go, so much to do, but look at how far you've come. Let's go. Day 31. God bless you.